All right, it's 141 days until the Tokyo Marathon, and uh, I'm on my way to Dallas right now. And every time I go to Dallas, I stop at the check stop, get some kolaches. I'll be going on a run in about a few hours from in Dallas anyway, so I'm gonna just call this a carbo load, you know, ride it off. I mean, I've been strict enough with my diet, so it's like, you know, this is the only cheat meal I ever have, and I work out right after. It's like, you know, it is, it is, it is what it is. So, all right, so I made it to my hotel, but very unfortunately, it looks like that park that I love is closed. Um, if I had known that, I probably would have left earlier, but I, I didn't realize that. So, unfortunately, that park that I love is closed. So, I think what I'm gonna do is there's a bunch of sidewalks around my hotel. Um, I'm in like the Arlington area, so there's a cement everywhere. Um, so I'm just gonna go out and go running, honestly. Uh, I don't really know where, and I don't really know what the route is gonna be. Route? Route? Is it route or route? I don't know. But anyways, I'm just gonna go out, do a little thing, and uh, get the legs going. I'm thinking today's just gonna be a timed run, like 30 minutes, stay consistent with it. I have to be on my feet all day tomorrow anyways. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day. So um, yeah, let's just go knock it out. Let's see what's up. And um, whew, it's a beautiful time to be alive. Texas is up big right now. I was watching the game. Texas is up big right now. So uh, yeah, let's go get this running, baby. Let's go. I bet some of you are wondering, dude, you have that whole fitness facility in your hotel, why don't you just go run on the treadmill? Like, it's a good question. There are like four treadmills. They're nice treadmills. I just don't like running on treadmills. Um, I never really have. I don't know, my joints always feel more sore when I run on treadmills. Um, also, I'm training for a road race, so it's like I'd rather, you know, actually have a little ADHD moment here. I wonder if I should go down there or down there. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk down that way, warm up a little bit, and then either jog back, I'll figure it out. I was like, I don't, I don't need to artificially control my pace. I can just run faster or run slower. When I'm running the marathon and I have my race pace, I have to do all that manually. I have to, you know, I'll probably have my Apple Watch. I'll probably be figuring that out. Um, but I can't just, you know, move the speed up and down you know, I'm not saying there's never a time and a place for a treadmill. You know, if it's just like terrible weather, you could walk, do a little walking or something. I don't know. There's a time and a place. But when you got beautiful weather like this, now nah, I'm going to go out. I'm going to run, baby. I'm going to run. It's a beautiful day to be alive, baby. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Grateful. Fueled by kolaches. I mean, I can conquer the world right now. Go ahead and play. One thing that's interesting is. I had a high ankle sprain in my right ankle um, about 10 months ago. And since recovery, I gotta say, my right ankle, I have way better balance on my right leg than my left leg now, which is interesting. I guess the way it healed up uh, just provides more support now. I don't know. I woke up today planning to run at the park when I got here. I'm running alongside the highway instead. But you know what? That's what life's about. Sometimes life will take you in to places you never thought you'd go. It's beautiful. I got a sidewalk. I got a bunch of cars. And it reminds me like, I feel like Lightning McQueen right now. Vroom, vroom. Maybe it's because I was in the car all day and uh, went from that to running, but I don't know. My legs just feel like my, like I said before, my left ankle just feels a little off. Um, I don't know. It's, like a four on the pain scale. It's just, it's weird. It's the top of it. It's not in the ankle. It's like a, the front part, you know, that attaches to the foot, like this part right here. Um, yeah, so my left foot feels kind of weird. And then my right knee also kind of bugging me. So, uh, you know, always heard, don't run through it. Don't push through it. Uh, so I will simply walk. I'll probably try to jog a little bit more and then if it doesn't feel right, I'll just let it be what it is. That was good. I got about 15 minutes of running there after my update where I said I was hurting and I felt great. But it looks like I've come to the end of the uh, end of the trail here. So it's time to turn around, head on back. We all get back, hit the elliptical to cool off, 
then uh, probably do some abs and uh, yeah, call it a day, get some dinner, rest up for the cowboy game tomorrow. Training for a marathon, running past the McDonald's and a Taco Bell is uh, an incredible feeling, really. Me and these people, we're on the same planet, but two worlds apart, it's incredible. All right, so finishing up on the elliptical now. Um, honestly, that was a good run. And something that I keep noticing is I will occasionally have like little aches and pains, nothing crazy, like the first one or two miles. And then, you know, once you push past that, I feel great. And that's what just happened on this last run. Like I said, I had, I, my ankle felt a little weird. My knee felt a little weird. Um, then I walked for about five minutes, started running again, and I felt amazing. Hit my stride, uh, really had a great cadence going. It was really good, it felt really great. So that's another thing, I, it's all about finding that balance, right? Like you don't want to push through it and injure yourself, but you also got to like figure out like when is it also just one of those random aches or pains that you can you can push through. And it's, I have noticed that trend, like the first mile or two, kind of shaky. And then after that, the real, the real run begins. But anyways, well, it's another great workout. 141 days until Tokyo. Super excited, super grateful. And uh, yeah, now it's time to edit this video that you're watching right now. So let's do it.